Josh, so what did it mean to represent England again in the recent mid-season international? Yeah, everything. Obviously, I think I've said it a couple of times, playing for England is a pinnacle for, for anything you do, any sport you play, it's, a, it's the top. And um, yeah, to, to do that in front of my family was pretty special. Again, I've not done it for a, a few years, so it was um, yeah, as good as ever. What about playing alongside Jack Wellsby? What was that like in the house? Yeah, good. He was my roomie actually for a week. Um, he's a good young lad. He's from Wigan too. Um, but yeah, he's a good lad. Jack, we got on really well and obviously he's a, he's a good young player, so he fitted in like a glove and he's um, yeah, a good, good player, like I said. Here today at St James's Park, you've played at Magic Weekend here before, right? So what, what's yeah. it like playing here? Yeah, it's really good actually. I, um, I think it's one that the players and the fans all put in the diary and, and look forward to. And I enjoy just seeing the different fans mingle, everyone's together. And um, I think that's one of the better things about rugby league. Everyone, most people anyway, get on with each other and just have a good crack. So yeah, it's, it's a good day for the players and the fans. What do you reckon it'd be like playing for England here on that first day? Again, yeah, very special. Uh, hopefully we can get a few locals too. I know it's not huge in Newcastle, but if we can get a couple down from surrounding areas, come down, watch England and um, hopefully we can get a, just, a win. Just how important do you think that first game of the tournament is going to be? Yeah, massive. I think the, the run against the All-Stars will do us a world of good. Just like you said, playing with players you know, played before, meeting lads and just getting to know them on a personal level helps definitely when you're playing. So I think that'll put us in the right direction I mean, for that, that game one because it's a, it's a must win. And what do you expect from the Samoans? Standard Samoa are always physical, big bodies. Um, they're really athletic and yeah, look, we know what they'll bring, but I think we've got to focus on ourselves as well. We've got some quality players and we've just got to perform. You've played with quite a few Samoans, haven't you, across your career? Yeah. What can you tell us about a few of those boys? There's uh, Joey Luluai, Sita Soliola, who's retired, man. Yeah. Um, and now Peter. What are, what are those boys like? Yeah, they're always. Um, big blokes big strong physical blokes but they're all um i know this is off rugby a little bit but they're all real good blokes and really humble and um even though they play the game hard they're always good blokes so i'm sure some will be no different but um yeah look they're always physically very gifted always strong fast and uh, like i said we've got a challenge on our hands and just how important is it to have this stadium full of england fans in that game yeah massive we need all the support we need it's going to be a tough Tough game and, and tough tournament, so we need every support we can get. Like I said, from either and everywhere, come down, support us, and uh, we'll give it our best crack.